head band at Cornell University practicing for the upcoming athletic season. Uh, but right as a backdrop for them is one of Richard Meyer's newest buildings. It's Weil Hall for biotechnology. It's vast. This shot from the back doesn't begin to give you an idea of how big this T-shaped building really is. Um, I haven't been inside yet. It looks kind of antiseptic, almost hospital-like. Uh, it looks like the kind of building you might have made with Legos, a lot of geometric forms. Uh, there are these rectangular fins jutting out from between the windows, giving uh, the otherwise uh, flat exterior a bit more visual interest. And uh, this is part of the initiative of Cornell to get much more involved in, in the intersection of science and technology. And it's fun to have a little musical backdrop while we look at that building. Wild Hall includes the Synapsis Cafe, uh, a nice place for students to decompress after working hard. It overlooks this courtyard with what appear to be newly planted trees. And this is the front entrance of Wild Hall. As you can see, the building is entered from Tower Road down that way and uh, across this little courtyard. And there's the T that I was referring to of the T shape. It goes around and then you, you follow it around to the uh, other side where the cafe is that we just looked at. And again this window jutting out, again kind of Lego-like in the way it's constructed. And now here we are in the lobby. Again, rather antiseptic looking, functional, sleek lined chairs uh, to sit in while you're waiting for your friends or professors. Uh, we have LEED Gold certification. I'm not sure you can read that. It's a 2008 building high performance building designed to significantly exceed the New York State Energy Conservation Construction Code. And uh, the most fun of this building for me so far is the view out to the practice of the big red band and presumably to, uh, I see some athletes out there who are running onto the field. Presumably there'll be games and practices uh, for sporting events here. Uh, and of course, the, the recognition of the donors dedicated in October of 2008. Uh, I'm sure this is a highly functional building and it bespeaks that, but uh, I can't say that I'm charmed by it. It is probably doing exactly what it's supposed to do in a sleek and modern fashion. Now we're looking at another Cornell athletic field. This is Hoy Field for baseball, and I think you can see the team has assembled here for what I believe is practice. Uh, and it is right next to a parking lot that's going to be the next site in the burst of star architecture at Cornell University. First Richard Meyer, then Rim Kulhas, and now Tom Main is in the process of designing the William H. Gates Hall for Computing and Information Science, expected to be completed in 2014. Uh, the fundraising phase for this has just concluded. Gates gave $25 million to kickstart the campaign, uh, and he is, of course, the uh, Bill Gates of Microsoft fame. Uh, the rest of the money needed has been raised. And now uh, Tom Main of Morphosis is in the midst of designing the building that will break ground soon, I'm told, on this parking lot site.